We're gonna talk about holiday health and celebrating the change that nature gave us. Everybody on the face of the earth knows that during the holiday season, we act like bears. We go ahead and we eat a lot of food so that we can go ahead and hibernate and survive that season. But just as sure as Yogi Bear is gonna go ahead and st steal your picnic basket, and just as sure as the Earth makes that perfect elliptical pattern around the sun, we know that change is going to come. That things are going to happen in a predictable pattern. Yet, we have diet gurus that will come out of this cave and predict that they have some sort of unknown, unfound secret that allows us to go ahead and determine that there's some missing link in our diet that they discovered and that the military industrial complex has suppressed this so that they will go ahead and sell us that ordinary food that they wanna go ahead and have us addicted to. Well, I'm here to tell you that diet and change in your body habitus is a normal cycle of nature. And let me give you like four examples just to go ahead and prove that. So there's a change in your weight during the normal cycle of the year. If you don't believe me, talk to any Eskimo. Look at any Eskimo who lives up in the North Pole and see what happens to the body habitus during those change of seasons. This is a normal protective mechanism that we have that's built into us. The second is that all types of food that we have don't grow all year round. If they did, think about this. I'd be eating asparagus all the time. What animal eats asparagus all the time? Or we'd be drinking pumpkin spice latte on July 4th weekend. Thirdly, diet and exercise are integrated together. Think about migrating birds. They go ahead and they exercise and fly thousands of miles to go ahead and fatten up again and go ahead and fly back thousands of miles to go ahead and lose that weight and fatten up again. So it's a continuous cycle and nature gives us these cues. And finally, cyclical change is a normal process of nature. If you don't believe me, and we live here in Michigan, go ahead and take a picture of the outside and then go ahead and take a picture of the outside another six months later, and I will guarantee you that they will change. Here in Michigan, that might be as short as just two days from now could have a drastic change. So nature gives us these cues. So celebrate the cyclical changes in our lives. Freaking out about these changes does nothing because we will always go ahead and regret the past and fear the future. So live in the present here. Go ahead and think about it this way. What surfer would go ahead and disagree with the fact that you can't change the wave that you're on. You have to go ahead and just enjoy the ride. So enjoy these cyclical changes. God loves you. Have a great holiday. These are your cells for your healing.